anyway. <laughs> what are you doing there, dear? Oh, I was just looking in the bureau drawer. I better put an extra pair of pajamas in here. What for? Marines don't wear pajamas. Well, I don't think they wear nightgowns with lace on them. <laughs> That's all I'd have to see, Sergeant Mulligan walking around in a nightgown. <laughs> well, Marines must sleep in something. Only their underwear. They like to show off their tattooing. <laughs> well, Harriet, didn't the laundry come back yet? What are you looking for? Some clean shorts. If it's a nice day tomorrow, Mulligan and I might sit out in the yard and take a sun bath. We don't uh, happen to have any cigarettes in the house, do we? No, but I'm putting one of your pipes and some cigars for the bed here. Oh, that's good. That's probably Sergeant Mulligan now. Well, thank goodness the room's all in order. Let's go let him in. Good evening. I'm Sergeant Mulligan of the Marines. Why, I, 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 why, why, suddenly you're a girl. Oh, no, I've been one for years. <laughs> no, you see, what he means is that, well, we thought that... You see, we were expecting a boy. <laughs> so were my parents, but then I came along. <laughs> oh, I guess I can see what's the trouble, though. They didn't tell you at the USO, and you thought the Marine Sergeant was going to be a man. <laughs> Well, yes, and this is quite a shock. I'll say we're expecting a hard-boiled egg, and we got one that's powdered. <laughs> oh, but naturally, you're more than welcome, Sergeant Mulligan. Come on in. Uh, do I hear somebody else at the door? Oh, uh, I hope you won't think it an imposition, Mrs. Nelson, but I brought along a few of my buddies. Do you think we'll take up too much room? Oh, nonsense. The more the merrier. Oh. Come on in, girls. You're just in time for dinner. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do. First, we'll have a nice home-cooked dinner, and then Ozzie will take us all dancing at the Palladium. <laughs> What's the matter, Ozzie? What are you so puzzled about? Well, I've gotten used to girl cab drivers, girl policemen, and even girl telegraph boys. But I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be dancing cheek to cheek with a Marine. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Thank you. Thank you, Harriet, Ozzy, B, Gloria, Benadaric, and everyone else who dropped in. Well, that's about the last paragraph in this mail call letter. So until we pick up the pen and ink again next week, this is June Allison saying thanks for inviting us. So long and good luck, fellas, and his love and kisses to you all. That's it, fellas. The end of another mail call letter. Signatures include June Allison, Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard, Danny Thomas, the writers of the Purple Sage, and yours truly, Carlton Cadell. This program was arranged with the cooperation of the Hollywood Victory Committee. Another mail call will be coming your way the next time you hear... This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.